And at another venue in Benin City, Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu also became a factional candidate of the People's Democratic Party. While well, Shaibu won what the party called a parallel primary with uh, over 301 votes. After doing the counting of this primary election, Philip Shaibu has a score of 301. Therefore, we hereby declare Philip Shaibu as the authentic elected candidate for this election in PDP. Let's cross live now to Benin City and speak to Shaibu Philip. Good to see you and thanks for your time. We've seen a recurrence of parallel primaries happen in political parties. Uh, let's quickly delve into this. What makes you the legal and official governorship candidate of the PDP? Yes, uh, I am uh, Comrade Philip Shaibu, the PDP candidate for the 2024 governorship election in Edo, and uh, I thank our delegates for what they did today. And what made me the authentic uh, candidate is, uh, just like the governor just said, uh, PDP is, is a party that follows rules, and uh, the rules of the party says that uh, other delegates have to be elected, and those other delegates that are elected will in turn elect the party flag bearer. So the authentic delegates that were elected uh, in the last uh, delegate election elected me today as the flag bearer of PDP. Uh, the other factional uh, primaries that took place, I will see it as cosmetic. Uh, you can see everybody here in Nashville be. I have never seen the primaries where people will actually be to be doing primaries. And you can see from my primaries, you can see the organic support. Uh, they tried to disenfranchise those the authentic delegates, but they were determined to have their candidate and they are determined to save their party. So I want to thank the uh, people, I want to thank PDP, I want to thank those delegates that left. There are various words yesterday to vote for me. The candidate and others in your party, because uh, it, it looks like uh, this must be a very big one for your political party, the PDP in Edo State. I always say uh, there's no problem with PDP. Uh, I can assure you that if PDP want to win this year's election, the people have made their choice, and their choice is coming Philip Shaibu as their candidate. Anything short of Philip Shaibu as their candidate, and that means PDP is not ready to win the state. They have spoken very loud, and they, what they did today is an expression of what they want in Edo. And the will of the people cannot be subverted. Uh, and if you attempt to subvert the will of the people, the consequence is that you lose the election. So I am going to follow what the governor said before the primaries. He said any of us that we will support. So I am using this moment to appeal to Mr. Governor for the sake of our party to please keep to his words. I want the primaries. We should work together. I will tomorrow visit I, 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 I think I think uh, well, well comrade comrade Shaibu uh, I think we'll need to uh, re-establish connection because there are some intrusions uh, perhaps coming from some phones uh, so we'll take a moment we'll come back to you uh, uh, live in Benin <laughs> Well, we're going back uh, to Benin City and establish a uh, uh, connection with uh, Philip Shaibu, Deputy Governor of Edo State, and uh, our parallel winner in the PDP uh, governorship election, trying to establish who the real winner is in that election. Uh, good to see you, uh, Comrade uh, Shaibu. Uh, thanks uh, for your time. Now, now, do you think the PDP, with these uh, seeming troubles and based on the last eight years, can produce the next governor of Edo State? Please come again. 
Come again. So I, I'm looking at the issues that Let's the primaries, uh, that the primary has uh, just uh, brought up. Uh, do you think that your party has the wherewithal to produce the next governor of Edo State? Yes, uh, the, our party have the well adapt to produce the next governor of Edo State uh, if uh, they allow the will of the people to prevail. And the will of the people was very loud today, and they were determined to vote, and they voted. For the Edo people beyond PDP, they know the name Comrade Philip Shaibu, and they know my name is synonymous to progress, my name is synonymous to project, and they know that when I say I will do something positively, they know I will do it because I have a track record. So this election is not just going to be about the party. It's also going to be about the individual that the party is fielding. It is critical. People are looking beyond parties now. They are looking at the person. Is the person that matter? Can they connect with this person? Do they know this person? They don't know his temperament. Does he connect with them? Does he live with them? Does he understand the terrain? These are questions that will be asked, and these are things that will shape the mind of the people. Our people are very intellectual, and they are very sound, and they are, in, when it, in terms of judgment, they, they, are, they are just spot on. And some of those issues that will determine and shape the election this year will be who is the guy? This guy, does, is it known to the people? Does it live with the people? Does it know the terrain? Does it know what the people want? It, it, so those are the things that will be coming to this. It's beyond party. So the party that produces the homeboy, the party that gets to connect, get a candidate that connects with the people, that understand the people, will be the party and the person that will win the election. And that is where PDP and the delegates today have made it clear that that person is Comrade Philip Shaivo. And I thank them for it. And like I said, uh, primaries had come and gone. As a leader, what I will be doing next is to reach out to all the uh, aspirants. Already we have a, a union, is eight-man union, aspirant union. So the person I will be calling on board now will be Aswe Ugedaro to join us uh, for us to build an Edo of our dream. And by the grace of God, uh, what the Edo people need now is food on the table. The economic situation is so hard that the people don't want all this quarrel. They need us to put food on their table. And that is what I'm bringing. When I say I'm bringing government to the doorstep of the people, I'm going to practicalize government, not government of theory for the theory thinking people, but practical government to the doorstep of the people. And that's what I'm going to be bringing from my experience. And don't forget, okay. among all of us that have cont that have contested this election, Okay, uh, let me let me jump in here. Uh, apologies, let me jump in here because we're trying to see how much time can take us. Now you're talking about someone who knows the terrain and again also calling on your other party uh, member, Aswe Gudalo, who's also uh, been declared a winner. Who exactly should uh, ultimately declare uh, the candidate of your party? Because we understand that the Zamfara governor is the sole uh, person to make uh, that announcement and so far uh, he's made an uh, announcement of uh, Aswa Igodalo as the candidate of that uh, primary in your state. Yes, uh, it's uh, just unfortunate that uh, uh, the governor of Zamfara and my very good friend and former colleague in the legislative arm, my brother, the governor of Delta State, that is doing beautifully well with the bridges that he has started constructing in Delta, uh, part of this, uh, uh, the other parallel Congress that, um, primary that took place today. But nonetheless, I think they were invited to come and uh, preside over a cosmetic primaries. Cosmetic in the sense that the delegates that were given to them, for them to use to produce the next governor are not the delegates that are meant for the election. So. What drives the process is the delegates, not the chairman of the, of the primaries. It's the delegates that are the key, 
as far as the uh, primary election is concerned. And the, de the rich delegates voted Comrade Philip Shaibu. And I know the Zamfara governor and my brother, the Delta governor, we all support uh, PDP to win a do state that under uh, Philip Shaibu as candidate. So that is an internal thing we will resolve very soon. And I'm sure by the time uh, these issues are resolved, uh, they, they will all join. I don't want to reveal a lot of things. Uh, don't forget revolutionary tactics are not discussed in public. And there are a lot of things that as we go on, it will become known to people and they will see that I am the authentic candidate of PDP. And but I'm not, I am not, uh, I'm, I, I am not arrogant about it because we ne I need everybody on board. I need us on board. I need Aslam and every other person on board. I need uh, and, you, and you need your party. And, and people are saying and that... And he has promised to be part of it. Uh, and you need your party. Because people are saying that uh, the sole responsibility yes. uh, falls on your political party. What if, what if uh, your party is insisting that the man who's emerged is the same as Hudalo? What would you do? We are guided by the electoral laws. The electoral law is, all political party must be guided by the electoral law and their own bylaws. And flowing from the bylaws and the electoral law, I am the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. And like I said, there are a lot of things I cannot say. Uh, as we move forward, you discover those things. And uh, one or two things, uh, they, very soon they will be in the public uh, domain to know what has transpired. And there were mistakes in one or two places, and those mistakes they will discover later. And like I said, I am not arrogant about this victory because the victory is for all of us. And I will need all of them to work with me uh, to, 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 to victory. PDP has to win with Philip Shaibo as the candidate. And uh, quickly here, uh, some uh, people or some section of Edo State have said that, that politically speaking, uh, the next uh, candidate should come from Edo Central. What do you say about that argument? Yeah, uh, I really would not want to go back into this I do central, I do not, I do. Uh, I would like to join Comrade Adan Salio Shomole. He called him yesterday. He said the, the I do politics is not about zoning. It's about capacity and competence. And that is what I believe in. I believe about uh, capacity. And let me tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm not like, I don't, I will have to, if I have to say it, what I'm bringing on board that some of the aspirants don't have is experience. I'm experienced in public sector and private sector. Some of them are coming from the private sector. They don't have public sector experience. We have seen it. And I do now do not need to experiment with any aspirant or candidate. I don't need somebody that will hit the ground running from the one. I have shown capacity as member of the House of Assembly, member of House of Rep, and Deputy Governor of Edo State. I, I can I'll let you know, if they ask today, who is the Deputy Governor of some state, many people don't know. But when you ask for the Deputy Governor of Edo State, even primary school children will tell you, come with Philip Shaibu. Because I have shown capacity and visible from the day of Nance to member of Edo State Assembly, to member of National Assembly. I'm the first member of the National Assembly. Before this morning, I moved the motion on the floor of the House. That is the level I've gone. And in terms of project driven, I'm a project driven person. So that's what I'm bringing on board that most of them don't have. Especially those coming from the private sector don't have the capacity to drive a door that we want to have now. A door is uh, we, we, I do have two elections, midterm elections now. If you don't have somebody that have experience, that understand what governance is, and understand where we are today, we will not be able to hit the ground running and make changes. What is critical now is how we can put food on the table of our people. And I have the formula, and by the grace of God, with the delegate electing me today, uh, the process has just begun. It's for all of us to come together now 
and make the party win the next election. Yeah. So, Comrade Shaibu, let's see if we can end uh, with this, and uh, I'd like us to do this in a minute, if uh, you can actually move in quickly. You've been hailed by some political commentators and observers and even Edo people for your courage in standing up uh, to even the governor and showing that you can actually be your own man in moving towards uh, your ambition. How is this expected to be in your favor going into the election? Please come again, come again, come again, please. Uh, I'm talking about the, uh, the courage that uh, many cl close watchers have uh, attributed to you and observers in your state uh, for standing up uh, uh, to the governor and going into this process. How is this expected to be in your favor? Yes, uh, interestingly, uh, my governor that I formerly called my senior brother, and boss is somebody that uh, likes people with capacity and people of courage. And I can bet you he has said whoever wins he will support. And I'm keeping, and I can bet that he will keep to his words. So uh, my insistence that I will contest the election is supposed to be uh, a plus for him, knowing fully well that when I agree on something, I would do it. And when I say we are going to build bridges, we are going to build rail lines, we are going to Edo will become an agricultural hub, a food basket competing with Benue State and Ninja State now, I mean it. And he has seen it in what I've done in sports under his watch. He has seen it, what I've done with our internally generated revenue under his watch. He has seen it, what I've done with our immunization system. To the extent that federal government has to adopt what I started in Edo, what we call immunization on one roof. So in terms of capacity, he knows that Philip Shaibu has the capacity to take over from him and build on what collectively we have done and take it to the next level. What is critical that I will bring in on the table that changes? I will not make the mistakes that he has made, but I will build on the gains and the positive that he has achieved and we have achieved together. I can bet you that very soon we are in one family. Uh, the governor as well. Uh, already my other brothers have congratulated me. We are all working together. I think the person I need to bring on board just as well. And governor is already on board by the grace of God. Comrade Philip Shaibu, Deputy Governor, Edo State. Many thanks for speaking with us on Newsnight. Thank you.